One of the most common questions I get asked in both the comments in my YouTube videos and on the Facebook group is where I buy the kind of fonts and ornaments that I use in sort of the designs that you see around you. So in this video, I'm going to look at my favourite sites for downloading fonts, ornaments, panels and other stuff. And I'm going to show you some of the free variants of those so that you don't have to kind of jump in right at the deep end and start spending a load of money on fonts. But before I crack on, if you're a fan of reverse glass, gold leaf, sign painting, digital processes and much more, then you're in the right place because that's all this channel's about. And I try to release a video every couple of weeks. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description. I reward my patrons with a different vector design every month. I credit them at the beginning of the videos, early access to the videos, and also just bits and bobs that I upload throughout the month. There's also a link to my Etsy shop where I'm selling some designs and also finally some actual products because I finally got off my lazy ass and made something. And a link to the Happy Guild of Facebook group where we're about 800 strong now, all different levels of artists, sharing work, helping each other out. Really, really good place to go if this is something that you're interested in. Anyway, now out of the way, let's crack on with it. Okay, so I'm going to start here on Letterhead Font. And before I go into anything, I know there's going to be quite a few people who watch this who have never purchased a font and probably have never thought about doing so, considering there are sites out there where you can download some for free. To that, I would say that you're narrowing your options and, and missing out because you do get a lot for your money when you're buying fonts. I went for years just using the fonts I could get for free then took the plunge because I saw some on here that I really liked and then I've, I've never looked back. And although I do use free fonts, I would say 95% of the time I'm using the ones that I purchased. And that isn't to get the money's worth, it's just because I think they're better. But anyway, moving on, looking at the interface here, you might recognise this style and that's because this homepage was designed by none other than Dave Smith himself, who's widely regarded as the best glass artist in the world. And if you've seen any of his work, I think you'd recognize his signature style. But right on the home page, what you've got is a huge home page with examples of some of the fonts and kind of designs that are done in these fonts. So I'm just going to start by looking at one of the first ones on here. And what you've got when you go into each one, you've got how much it's going to cost you for this license or how much you can get it for if you buy in bulk. Some really nice, simple examples of how to use the font. And down the bottom the bonus glyphs now not all of them will have this and some will have more than others but i always think it's a real bonus when you get these so just just an example if we were looking at this example here where it says burly boy he's used this bonus b on both letters but you could use the b with the bottom flourish on one and then just select that and then use the other b for the other and i think it just mixes that up makes it look like you've kind of really thought about your use of fonts when you kind of use the glyphs while using the same one across one sentence for example so definitely something to look out for if you've never used glyphs i'll put a link in the top right corner and in the description to my video on on how to use them so first on the search bar you've got the names of the fonts and they're categorized by a to z or a to z i would never really use this because i don't know what particular font i'm looking for i'll be going on the kind of visual style of it but in here there are some really decent things so just looking at these at the start using the uppercase and lowercase letters on your keyboard you've got 62 variations of and so let's have a look at that with your uppercase keys you're going to get and as a written word and with your lowercase keys you're going to get the ampersand this is so handy i bought a package on here which is 62 ands and 62 the 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 yeah and I use them all the time. It's surprising how often you'll need just that one little word just to set things off. But anyway, that's kind of what you can find um, by searching by name. Styles is, is most likely. You know, you're going to know either what's your favourite style, what the kind of style of the piece is that you're making. And there's a lot in here. But it's not just about the style of the font. You've got things like, you know, corners, ornaments, panels. And let's just go straight into panels. And you know let's go into the first one here this every single one of these is a, is one of your keys and that's including the numbers as well so all you've got to do is click on your screen in this case press i and you've got this panel is vector based so that'll be infinitely scalable and that is just such good value to be able to have all of these panels at your disposal just at the click of your fingers you know that's 43 dollars but that's not just americana panels that's 
Americana panels too as well. So you're getting, I don't know, maybe 80 panels for $43, which I just think is amazing value. Coming across, you've got artists. If you know a particular artist who you want to purchase their font, packages, really good one to look into. Like I said before, I purchased this one and it is considerably cheaper than buying the two fonts separately. You've got a gallery of, of stuff that people have made. Videos, a really good section of the website where it's shown you how to create effects using the fonts on here. But not only with the fonts on here, you know, some of these are just how to kind of create different effects using any font. You know, this particular one here of how to create the kind of gold bar. I think it's a free action you can download. So th there's a lot of stuff that's worth looking into on here. Finally, the thing I'll look at is the typesetter. And this is a really nice feature in a sense that if you wanted to know what a particular word would look like in a specific font, all you've got to do is type that in here, choose the font. So let's go with that burly font that we looked at earlier. And then just create. And that is really nice. And you can do a little bit of editing. So if you wanted to kind of change the color of the font and then maybe the color of the background, you know, just to see how it would look with a different color scheme. There's an option to do that as well. So overall, I think I've bought the most fonts from this site and I've been happy with all of them. I'd strongly recommend it. I'd, I just think they're such good value. And once you've purchased one and seen what you can do with it and seen how sort of extra special it is compared to the stuff you get for free, I think you'll see that it's really good value for money. But moving on to the second one, that is ephemera fonts. Now, They've got similar kind of things, um, albeit some of it slightly different format. So we've got our try section. The difference with this is that you've got a kind of screen where they've got the fonts on display, which is a little bit easier than using the let head site and having to know what font you're going to use. So you can just sort of scroll down, choose one you like and type in what you want. You've also got the option of testing the glyphs as well, which is really nice. So ooh, got my caps lock on. So. happy gilder we can choose to reverse that if we want to just see what that looks like so just going into our features you can kind of check out some of the different glyphs and how they might work which is a real bonus feature i think so let's go across into the shop and see what we've got so you've got your font and they haven't got as broad a range as the letterhead site but they have got some absolutely beautiful fonts what i'm going to have a look at here are the kind of extras that you can get so let's look at panels now these are slightly different. These aren't fonts, these are vector shapes. So when you buy a font on the letterhead site, you're going to get however many panels there are keys on the keyboard. Whereas in this case, you're just paying a one-off cost for however many panels are in this package. So they are considerably cheaper, but you do get less. And in a way, you know, that, that can be better. You know, you're not necessarily going to like all of the panels that you get within a font. So it might be better value just going through here and thinking rather than spending $40 on a font, spend $40 on eight different sort of panel packages. Really nice thing on this site as well is what it's displaying is a sort of example of how you could make something look. But when you hover over it, it's showing you the file you get. And this will be an ephemera font that they've used here. So you can completely recreate this kind of thing with anything on this site. And then, yeah, that's what you're going to be downloading. Also, if we go into templates, which is sort of similar to panels, but sort of probably on a bigger scale, you've got all these really nice sort of old fashioned Rawson and Evans style templates. And if you scroll down here, you'll recognize some of these from things that I've made on the on the channel. So so this I made a video on this particular piece, and I think I used a very similar color scheme. Again, hover over it, you'll see the file you're gonna get. Come outside it and you can see, you know, really kind of what you could make out of that. And there's even the old classic Labelle Supreme, which I made a feature length tutorial on. And for $15, that is an absolute steal. That's a beautiful file and one of the most beautiful glass pieces you'll ever see. Albeit one of the most time consuming, but it's definitely worth the effort. Lastly, definitely always worth a look, are freebies. So up here, just a few little things that you can download for free off the site. And it shows you how long they've been on there for. 
you know, um, I haven't checked this in a long while, but um, a lot of the time these freebies can update. So they might delete some and add a new one. So even if you download everything that's on it, definitely worth checking back and seeing what there is. That moves me on to Heritage Type Co. Now, again, they've got some beautiful font bundles. I'm not going to go into the kind of fonts because um, I'm going to show you some of the unique stuff on here that isn't on the other two sites. But before I move on, I've made a video on Heritage Type's online design platform, which is called Kittle. I'll put a link to that at the top. And what that is, is absolutely hundreds of templates where you can enter in your own kind of text and move stuff around, change the colors like this sort of one we'll, um, on here. You can create that with all of your stuff, download it as a vector file, then do what you want with it. That's Kittle, which I'll put a link to at the top and in the description. But what I was going to show on here is something that's really unique, you know, and that's their illustration packages. So something here, what I really like, this is a skull creator. And this is, you know, a skull is something that depends, you know, you're not going to use them all the time, but they are really handy to have. And they're also not easy to find. You know, you go on Google looking for skull vector or something like that, but you're going to find all different styles and maybe not find the one you want or certainly not find it in a vector format. This solves that problem and adds a load of fresh bits to it as well. So let's just look at some of the interface. So let's just look at what you've got. So these are all vector layers, you know, and what you'll get is your skull and you can just toggle all these extra bits on and off. You know, if you wanted this skull to not have a hat, you just turn the hat off. Same for the glasses and everything. So it's a really kind of lovely way of building up these unique skulls. And, you know, there's so many variations you can use. And I think this is a really smart, really modern kind of tool to have on a font website. And I think, you know, it gets so much use out of this sort of thing. So... There are different illustration packages, so you can scroll down and look through these if skulls aren't your thing. But just sort of showing you, you know, this, they're really kind of looking at next level stuff here that's not just panels and fonts. So I'd definitely sort of check that out and also check out Kittle because it's absolutely awesome. Anyway, that's my three favourite kind of font websites for purchasing decent fonts. I know that there are going to be people who use different sites and please do tap me up in the comments and share any sites that you know of because you know I, I, because I'm not going to cover everything on here I'm just going to cover you know a few places where you can get decent fonts and some decent panels but if you guys know of anywhere free paid whatever where you can get a load definitely put that in the comments because it's the kind of stuff that people are looking for anyway moving on to freebies and again there's going to be loads of free font sites I always use this one called Dafont or DA font I don't know the correct way of saying it but it's just a really nice interface um, like so at the top here you've got the sort of styles that you might want to be looking for on the home page and recently added fonts so let's just jump in and have a look at something that we can get for free so I'm gonna click on old school the reason I went here is because I use these kind of blocky type letters a lot you know they, they might seem like they're kind of you know, belong on the back of a football jersey, but they really, really go with the old fashioned sort of, you know, signs. They use a lot of blocky text there and, and these sort of things are perfect. So if I go on the first one, Varsity, what I've got is it's showing me what I get in my capitals, what I get in my lowercase and any kind of glyphs as well. Now, the glyphs in this case, I think, are more for non-English language letters where you kind of have hyphens and stuff like that. So there's not necessarily any sort of flourishes or anything special, but there's also nothing here that says that you can't use this for whatever you want. So scrolling down, all it is is a font. And all you need to do is download it and install it. And that's absolutely amazing to be able to get for free. The reason I said about checking for that sort of thing is because although all the fonts on here are free for you to download they're not free for you to use for commercial use in some cases so looking at this one here you can see at the top there's a lot of info and you definitely need to take this info into account you know so it's kind of saying please consider a do donation and it'll be greatly appreciated if you wish to use this font commercially a donation or license is required you know um so yeah you can download it, you can use it across, you know, your work. But I think if you're going to start using it and selling stuff, you're going to have to, you know, stump up some money. But they're not all like that. Some of them are. Some of them will give you a kind of, 
almost cut down version of a font. So here's one I've used in the past that's um, that I really like, which is called Lemon Milk. If I go on here, what I'm getting in this Lemon Milk package is everything that's on screen. So the kind of bold, narrow, italic, stuff like that. But what it's saying here is there's more. You can get Lemon Milk Pro and then you can get the lowercase versions of it and then it gives you a link to a website where you can go and buy it. So, you know, it varies what you get. But the fact of the matter is you are going to be able to download the fonts on here for free and use them in some capacity. Whether or not you're going to be able to use them in a professional capacity is, is going to be in the small print. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I'm not sure whether that commercial use actually means you're going to use it for one piece and you're going to sell that piece or whether it means you're going to use it and print it across multiple adverts or whether it's going to be online you'd have to look into that yourselves but yeah that's an overview of that site and i'd definitely recommend checking it out and seeing what you can get from there so the last site i'm going to look at is Vecteasy, and like i said there are a lot more sites like this out there um please do mention them in the comments because people do look at them and that's going to be their sort of guide where to find other things that aren't mentioned in this video but starting here this is a really good resource to find loads and loads of kind of vector shapes corner ornaments panels drawings all sorts and there's free stuff on here as well as the stuff that you can get in a subscription so looking at the subscription if we're going here it is really really good value you're going to pay yearly you're going to get that for nine dollars a month and that's unlimited access to everything that's on here but $14 a month, if you wanted to just try it for a month to see if it's worth it, definitely worth a go. But before you take the plunge and go and subscribe to anything, let's see what you can get for free. So if I just start with a search here, let's go with Art Deco. And already you've got some lovely panels, some of which you can see, you can download these for free. There's going to be some form of attribution and potentially some rules around how you can use these free ones. but you know, like I say, if this is you just getting started, these are absolutely awesome templates that you can download and get playing around with. Let's go again and see what they've got in the way of corner ornaments. And straight away, this one for free is absolutely awesome. You know, I can compare this to some of the ones I've bought from Letterhead Font. So, for example, if you go on the Letterhead Font site and look up Saratoga ornaments, you'll see loads of these quite angular corner ornaments. And... You know, this one here is just as good as any of the ones that you're going to get on there paid for. This one, quite similar to some of the Americana ornaments. Again, just as good as any of those on there. And this will be a vector shape. So this is infinitely scalable. You can kind of manipulate this. And for free, this is just absolutely awesome. So there it's kind of saying there's an attribution required. And when you click on that, that will show you what that is. So there you go, it's saying there's an attribution required. I'm assuming that's if you use it digitally, and that's this up here. So all you need to do to use this in any of your work is to copy and paste this somewhere. I do a similar thing in the description for all my videos for the music that I use, which is from a site called Ben Sound, and all you have to do to use their free stuff is put music by Ben Sound, and this is a very similar thing. So let's just see if they've got any panels on here now. Let's go panel. And that has gone quite specific and looked for things like solar panels. So maybe we want to go for something a bit more descriptive than that. So let's try Victorian. There you go. Loads of really nice ornate panels, a portion of which are free. This is one of them things I advise you to just kind of go into a deep dive try out a load of keywords well you know search around what you're interested in but you know that's going to potentially take you down a rabbit hole because when you click on one you're going to be given the option of seeing stuff that other people have downloaded that's similar to that and so on and so forth so clicking on this that'll bring you to a different page of a load of new panels so yeah it's a huge site massive amount of stuff on there and some really good free stuff so i'd certainly recommend potentially checking this out and the dafont site out before you know committing to maybe buying some of the more elaborate things if some people just starting out you know just downloading a few panels and a few free fonts you'll get some really nice designs out of this and it'll allow you to test the waters without having to actually spend a load of money so anyway that's where i'm going to finish here i hope you found this useful 
If you did, please subscribe to the channel and click the little thumbs up icon, and please share the video with anyone else who you think might enjoy it. So, till next time, cheers.